Hello there friends, Crystal here. Welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. It has been a while since I was last able to record what was meant to be a very short series. Uh, kind of got elongated because I came down with a cold and I legit could not talk for a couple days there. Uh, but I am back. I am ready. So last time Finley went to Irma's, uh, is it called a wake? Funeral kind of thing, like remembrance kind of gathering. And it, as Finley is saying, did not go as expected. So we're going to continue. We're going to see where this is going. Oh man, that didn't go how I expected. Looks like my cell phones had no reception at Gilbert's. Me and Carl both tried to call me. Oh, okay. Call Carl back or call Mia? I think we're going to hang out with Mia. Hey, Finley. Thanks for calling me back. I was worried when I saw you today. Are you okay? I'd be lying if I said I was. Oh. I, um... I don't know if it'll help, but I actually have plans for tonight. I think I need to get my mind off things, and I'm guessing you might want to as well. If you come along, we could help each other. You know we'll be there too. Sure, why not? Cool. I just got off work. I'm standing in the middle of town square. Perfect, I'm heading your way now. Let's meet at the hospital entrance, okay? Alright, see you soon. Really? Isn't the hospital entrance kind of far for me, but kind of really close for you? I hope your evening went better than mine. Yeah, we didn't have a very good evening at all. That, uh, that character, I can't remember his name, but that dog, he is just such a, a pot stirrer, you know? <laughs> He's constantly stirring that pot. Ah, oh, suspicious drink van is closed. I have to admit, I actually had the music for this game stuck in my head over the last couple days. I very much missed recording this. Jump over the ice. There we go. Hi, Mia. Is the funeral over already? Dr. Krosky told me you were there. Sure was. There was an argument. People said it was my fault Irma died. What? I wanted to explain myself, but I didn't get uh, the chance. That's so mean. It makes me so angry. Yeah. Can we change the subject, maybe? Anything special going on in your life? Well, today's my stage debut. What do you mean? I'm rehearsing with the Porcupine Amateur Dramatics Group for the first time. Wanna come watch? I wanna get used to having an audience. Do I need to do anything? Watch, listen, nod. And don't be too harsh a critic. I can do that. Yay, let's go! The rehearsal's taking place on the small stage in the park. Uh, the park, you say. Is that this way? I'm hoping it's this way. I remember there was like a back woodsy sort of area. Um, if it's not, I'll cut to when I eventually find it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I actually found it. Look at me go, I went the right way. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey, uh, I'm so glad you came. And you brought Finley with you, too. Yes, I asked if he wanted to come. But just to watch. Watching? Nonsense. You're just in time. One of our members dropped out today. I caught, caught a flu at the hibernation festival or something. Oh no, can we still rehearse without them? Sure we can, you've brought the perfect replacement. But... 
Oh yes, Finley, please say you'll join in. I'm sure that's just what I need to feel more comfortable in my first role. I, um... All right. Yay! Woo! I was in the theater group in elementary school, but I might be a little rusty. What's the play? Will it even work with someone new in the role? So it's so great. We're an improv troupe. We give everyone a role at the start of the show and then just see what happens. And tonight we've got something very special in store. A terrible crime that needs solving. I'm scared already. You're telling me. And you, Finley, are going to be our detective, the private eye. The guy who was a little too tough for the police. You're basically the referee. It'll, uh, it'll be... <laughs> it'll be great practice for the rest of the group. Oh, okay, I hope I can pull this off. I know you can. This is going to be great. Is everyone ready? Yep. I'm already pumped. Let's go. Oh, it's the, it's the suspicious drink seller, I think. All right, you've all been given a brief on your roles. Any questions? Good. Folks, we've got two new additions today. So to celebrate, I've come up with something special. Listen up, everyone. We open on an old hospital. Six in the morning. There's a storm outside. The rain's coming down in buckets. As one by one, you enter the building. Shortly after the shift begins, we hear the chief physician's voice break into a horrifying scream. Oh, um... <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. Let me feel your terror. Much better. A body has been found by the chief physician's office. But it's not just any body. It's a body of the chief physician's personal assistant. We gather in the break room. The fresh coffee is still bubbling in the pot when the door flies open once more. Into the room strides none other than the city's most famous detective. Finley, that's your cue. His face is grave, his steps determined, and so the questioning begins. Finley, you just let me know when you're ready to give your verdict, okay? Okay. All right, folks. Let the interrogation begin. Hello, just let me get up on your <laughs> up on your eye level here. I I don't know how that could have happened. It was the chief physician. I'm sure of it. You gotta believe me. She would have done anything for him, but she swept that under the table. If he threatened her with it, she wouldn't hesitate to resort to such means. Anything to preserve her career. I did see her leaving the building last night, when I was just starting my night shift, but it doesn't mean anything at all. Um... Did you notice anything unusual? Is there anything else that might be relevant besides your theories? Well, I don't know if it's... Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's really relevant, but my, my DualShock wireless controller battery is running low. But before the PA started here, he worked at another hospital. But he was falsely accused of involuntary manslaughter, so they fired him. Can you imagine that? Where were you at the alleged time of the murder? Me? I was only here for a cigarette break. I just got back from the night shift. And I was gonna go straight home after that. I told you, the chief physician, of course. Haven't you seen a detective drama? Okay. I'll come back to you later. Alright. Oh man, I need a coffee. Oh. It's really terrible what happened. I still can't believe it. I was even here when the crime took place and I still couldn't do anything. Where in the building were you at the time of the crime? I always come in extra early because I like to work in peace before the hustle and bustle starts. So I sat in my office all morning, going through patient records. I haven't been here long. I was eager for a fresh start after my previous hospital, and I get along very well with everyone here, but I'm still trying to get up to speed. Did you notice anything unusual? Anything unusual? As you may already know, I'm pretty new here, so I probably wouldn't even notice if there's something out of the ordinary. 
Uh, but maybe that will help you provide a more objective view than your colleagues. Yes, I suppose so. You're being very evasive. I don't want to make any false accusations, but there is one thing as it happens. The chief physician came to see me a few days ago. She asked me to keep an eye on the janitor. I think he was seen hanging around my floor a few times heading into the storeroom. Some people suspect him of stealing medication. And have you noticed anything? No, I've never seen him there. But maybe the murder victim caught him in the act. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, truly. Um, did you ever speak to the ambulance driver? I've seen him in the corridors a few times. But apart from a friendly nod here and there, we've never really interacted. Yes, I'm happy if I can help. I don't think that's what you said, but that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> I'd love to help, but I've been busy all morning. Busy, eh? With what? Sometime, or sometime last night, that damn pipe in the basement burst again. That's the third time uh, this month, not that anyone cares. And everything's always underwater. So I spent the whole morning on my hands and knees down there tinkering around. And then I thought, what's that strange object in the water? And hey presto, I had the murder weapon in my hand. Not that I knew that at the time, obviously. And did you notice anything else? I don't know if this is relevant, but I talked to the guy a lot. Out on the stairs after work, he's the only guy there that smokes apart from me, see? Two days ago, he was saying some weird stuff. Thought someone was following him, stuff like that. Managed to calm him down, told him he was imagining it. Turns out, he wasn't. Alright, thanks for the tip. Maybe the ambulance driver. He was always kind of weird when I came to the PA. Saw so him sitting in front of the guy's office again yesterday. I don't know if that helps. We used to smoke together, that was pretty nice actually. He's quit now, so we don't see each other that often anymore. He's also been a little weird recently. Maybe he wants a job or something, but he's been chasing the PA around a lot. Tell me about the new doctor. I think she's avoiding me, but I don't know why. Yeah, whatever. You don't understand how awful it was. If it were just a dead body, I wouldn't have been so shocked. I've seen more than a few of them over the course of my career. But in my office? Before my third cup of coffee? What's the world coming to? How am I doing, Finley? Am I convincing? You're doing great, but you need to stay in character. Oh yeah, oops. I'd like to ask you about the incident. Yes, of course. I think we all want to get to the bottom of this. And as soon as possible, too. I'm busy, so keep it short. Very well, I'll be brief. Where were you when the incident happened? I wasn't in the building at the time of the incident. I'd already left early yesterday evening. I always try to get here as early as possible as a rule. That way I can finish the day's work early, too. Only today my car broke down, so I didn't arrive until the same time as the rest of the staff. Breakdown service took forever, but maybe that was lucky for me in the end. Otherwise, it could have been me lying there cold on the floor. Horrible. That does rule me out completely as a suspect, though. I see. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I just can't stop wondering why it had to happen in my office of all places and how. The only person with a key besides me was my assistant. And we couldn't stand each other. I don't know why he was do- or what he was doing in my office. As far as I know, he was never in my office unless I was there, too. His key was only for emergencies. Anything else you like to add? I just can't stop wondering why it had to happen in my- oh wait. <laughs> no, I just read all this. I'm doing a great job. Do you suspect anyone? If you asked me, it was the nurse anyway. My PA made some nursing cuts a few weeks ago, and I've heard nothing but complaints ever since. She also has a penchant for being uh, professionally emotional, or unprofessionally emotional if you know what I mean. Something about your statement makes me wonder. You told me earlier that you and your PA couldn't stand each other, correct? That's correct. Interesting, especially as I've heard from various sources that the two of you got along very well. That 
That is wild speculation, and anyway, it should make me even less of a suspect, if anything. True, I lied. But I only did it for the sake of my image. I don't want to be the kind of boss who's known for... for playing favorites, so I treat everyone the same. What do you think of the ambulance driver? I don't think I've ever talked to him. I don't think I've ever... oh. Uh, just say it twice, just in case. I don't interact with most of the employees here on a regular basis, if you know what I mean. She hasn't been here long, just a couple months, but she's proven a good fit. I was a little skeptical at first, because I didn't know if she was assertive enough. But it's worked out fine in the end, she's normally very reliable. Though I did find a stack of uncompleted files on her desk just today. I'll be honest with you, I've always had the suspicion that he was up to something crooked. It's always creeping around if we're cropping up where you least expect him. I think he's been stealing, but I don't have any proof yet. <sighs> Please hurry up. So I've spoken to all of you. No, I couldn't stand him. But that doesn't make me a murderer. If I went around wanting to murder people, I'd have started actually doing it a long time ago. Not that I'm saying that I did. Fact is, he just wasn't a nice guy. Ask the new doctor, she'll tell you. He really had it in for her. It's more of a motivation to kill him than I've ever had. Besides, I was on duty on another ward all night, so I couldn't have killed him anyway. I said I was on duty. I don't know exactly when he was killed, but you're welcome to talk to all the patients on the ward. I spent a lot of time there that morning. Having a very long conversation with a woman in room 7. She didn't feel well and she really wanted to talk to somebody about it. Not to mention giving them her whole life story. I remember wondering about the light. The light that was on in the chief physician's office. Though that was sometime in the early morning. No, I didn't see anyone. Or, wait. The janitor. I saw the janitor on that floor. He said he was looking for a ladder for some repair work. Unfortunately, I couldn't help him. I had my hands full myself that morning. Uh, what do you think? Can you reconstruct the course of the events? Um, I've talked to everyone, but I don't... I'm a little stuck between... I don't know entirely if it's the janitor. I don't think he's entirely innocent because it seems like he is actually stealing stuff. But I think, what is it, the nurse, the new nurse, and the ambulance driver both seem a little sketch. Oh, fantastic. So, who did it? The case is absolutely clear. There's only one person who could have committed this heinous act. Even though every single one of you had a motive. The solution is crystal clear. Um... So ambulance driver, chief, new doctor, janitor. Oh, there was a new doctor and a nurse? Oh, now I'm confused. You know what? We're going to go with the ambulance driver. I don't know if I'm correct, but the ambulance driver. No, but no, it really wasn't. Does that mean one of us didn't play the role well enough or is it you that's the problem? It's me. It's me. I'm a doctor, not a detective. That's probably just as well. It was obviously the new doctor. After all, she was the only one whose alibi was contradicted by anyone. She said she spent all morning working on the files, but the nurse was very clear that she kept running into the doctor in the hallway. Oh. I think I was thinking there was less characters than there were. <laughs> so what was the motive then? Isn't it obvious? The PA and the new doctor used to work at the same hospital. In voluntary manslaughter that got him fired, the witch they could never prove was him. It was actually a murder that she committed. And it didn't go down well with her when somebody else got the credit for it. In fact, she took it so badly, she followed him to his new hospital and then she caught him in the chief physician's office. She seized her opportunity for, for revenge. It's very simple when you think about it. Yeah, sure. It's actually really funny that they... They happen to be doing this in-game when I'm recording this tonight. 
because earlier today on stream I was playing a game called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, which is similar, like, um, murder mystery whodunit sort of thing. Too bad you couldn't solve the murder. It's okay, I still had fun. Glad to hear it. Ooh, I just kind of went right through you. <laughs> Ooh, that was exciting. My knees are still knocking. I think my acting needs a little more practice. I'm gonna get going now. What about you guys? I'll stay here in the fresh air for a while longer. Finley, do you have a moment? Alright, get home safe then. Night night, crime busters. I didn't know it was about a murder. Sorry, I hope that wasn't too much for you. I really enjoyed it though. Without you, I probably wouldn't have come. Thanks for getting my mind off things. Finley, I don't know how you're feeling right now. I don't know what it's like when somebody dies on you for the first time. But I have to assume that it'll happen to me sometime too. And I'm pretty scared of it. Terrified, actually. But it's also part of the job, and a good doctor needs to be able to handle it. Hey, it might never happen to you. You're a great doctor. I think that's unrealistic. But when it happens, I want to be ready. What are you thinking right now? Not much. All I want to do right now is sleep. And thank you for joining in. I've had the nerves for it without you. Maybe you'll want to do it again in the future. But next time, I want to be the detective. I'd be honored to have you solve my murder. Um... Oh, what are these options? I want to keep going? Keep going. Maybe that's what it's all about in the end. Moving on. I want to keep going too. With life here in Porcupine, I mean. I... I think I like it here. The people, the little streets, the hibernation festival is great. I think I could feel at home here. Especially with a partner in crime like you. Let's make sure that as few people die here as possible. That's the deal. Deal? Yes. Deal. All oh, these cuties. Oh. Planks that mean the world. I got a trophy for that. Okay. I'll take it. Is, uh, is our friend out here tonight? No? I was wondering when she said park, by the way, this was the other park that came to mind. But I'm really glad I went to that one first. <laughs> Alrighty. Can't wait to get a good night's sleep. Um, well, you know what? Hold on a minute. This might actually be the perfect place for me to wrap up. This episode is a little bit of a shorter one, but I think that's okay. Um... When we return, actually, you know what? Mm, I'm gonna wrap up, but I'm gonna make sure it auto saves first. I just remembered this game does that. I think this will auto save it. Let's see. Just on the off chance we have like a dream or something. Ha! Huh. I have seen the auto save. Okay. Finley looks like he did not sleep very well at all. But anyways, let's go ahead, wrap up this episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I need to charge this controller. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Have an amazing rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching.